Hello friends, this is third video of an algebraic structures with one binary operation. In previous video, we discuss some examples on algebraic structures with one binary operation. So we will continue some more examples on algebraic structures. So for example, four. So that G is equal to set of two cross two matrix and its entries are a b minus b a where a and b from r is a commutative group under matrix addition so apne ek set apelo chhe g g ma keva elements chhe to ke 2 cross 2 matrices ane entry a b minus b a a ke madhi levani chhe r madhi so solution so let we consider in general three matrices a1, a2 and a3 and its entries are a1, b1, minus b1, a1, a2, b2, minus b2, a2 and a3, b3, minus b3, a3 implies these entries from set of real number. Now we want to prove that G is commutative group under matrix addition. So for that we prove that closure property, associative property, existence of an identity element exist inverse for each element of G and commutative property. So first property is closure property. For that we take addition of first two matrices A1 plus A2 which is written as these two matrices is equal to now addition of these two matrices means addition of corresponding entries therefore a1 plus a2 b1 plus b2 minus b1 minus b2 we take minus as common so minus of b1 plus b2 and a1 plus a2 so this matrix is also two cross two matrix and each entries from r therefore this matrix is element of g because a1 plus a2 is entry of R and B1 plus B2 is entry of R. So for two matrices, addition of two matrices is also an element of G. Hence, G is closed under matrix addition. Now, second property which is associative property. So we know that matrix addition is associative. So clearly, A1 plus a2 plus A3 is same as A1 plus A2 plus A3. So this property is odd for each A1, A2, A3 from G. Hence G is associative under matrix addition. Now third property which is existence of an identity element. So we know that આપણે કોઈ પણ મેટ્રિક્સમાં કયો મેટ્રિક્સ એડ કરીએ કે જેથી મેટ્રિક્સ પોતે આવે સો વી નો ધેટ देयर એક્ઝિસ્ટ ઝીરો મેટ્રિક્સ એન્ડ ઇટ્સ એન્ટ્રીઝ 0 0 0 0 ફ્રોમ G સચ ધેટ વી એડ એની મેટ્રિક્સ વિથ ઝીરો મેટ્રિક્સ ધેન વી ગેટ મેટ્રિક્સ ઇટસેલ્ફ સો ધીસ પ્રોપર્ટી ઇઝ ઓડ ફોર ઈચ એ1 ફ્રોમ G હેન્સ ઝીરો મેટ્રિક્સ ઇઝ એન આઇડેન્ટિટી એલિમેન્ટ ઓફ G now fourth property existence of inverse for each element of G. So we know that कोई पन matrix हो ये मापर कयो matrix add करिए के जेथी एनो answer identity element मड़े means zero matrix मड़े तो के कोई पन matrix छे एनो addition एना negative matrix साथे करिए तो आपने answer सू मड़ से zero matrix. So for each A from G there exists negative of a from g such that a plus minus a is equal to zero matrix which is an identity element hence minus a is an inverse of a means the mar koi pan element no inverse find karvo hoy to a matrix ne tame negative vade multiply kari diyo means any badhi j entry minus vade multiply thai hence all elements of G has inverse under matrix addition. Now fifth property which is commutative property. So we know that clearly A1 plus A2 is equal to A2 plus A1 for any matrix from G. 
So this property is what for every a one a two from G, hence matrix addition is commutative in G. So here all five properties are hold for G with matrix addition, hence G is a commutative group under matrix addition. Now example five, so that Z six with plus six is an abelian group. So here set is set of integer modulo six and binary operation is addition modulo six. So solution we know that Z six is zero one two three four five. It is also written as zero class one class two class three class four class and five class. Now we show that the structure is an abelian group by using composition table. For that, first we see that what is zero class. So zero class is nothing but some set of integer values zero, six, twelve, minus six, minus twelve, and so on. One class is set of some integer values. Like one seven thirteen minus five minus eleven. Similarly, we define two class, three class, four class, and five class. Now, composition table. So here we write binary operation, which is addition modulo six. Here we write elements of Z six. Again, we write here elements of Z six. हम आप एक एक्जाम्पल जो है कि प्लस सिक्स है जेड सिक्स एलिमेंट वे कई रीतना एप्लाय थे सो फॉर एक्जाम्पल आप थ्री प्लस सिक्स फाइव मीन्स थ्री प्लस फाइव विच इज एट बट एट मॉड्यूलो सिक्स हम आप जो कि एट से कया क्लास में आए थे टू क्लास में सो वेल्यू ऑफ एट मॉड्यूलो सिक्स इज टू राइट सपोज नाइन तमने मे तो नाइन क्या क्लास में आए थे थ्री क्लास में सो नाइन मॉड्यूलो सिक्स इज थ्री राइट सो फर्स्ट वी एड जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो जीरो प्लस वन इज वन सीमिलरली वी राइट टू थ्री फोर फाइव ना वन प्लस जीरो इज वन वन प्लस वन इज टू वन प्लस टू इज थ्री वन प्लस थ्री इज फोर वन प्लस फोर इज फाइव वन प्लस फाइव इज सिक्स But six is in zero class, right? So value of six is zero. Similarly, two plus zero is two, three, four, five. Two plus four is six, but value of six is in zero class. So here we write zero. Two plus five is seven, but value of seven is in one class. So here we write one. Now three plus zero is three. Three plus one is four. Three plus two is five. Three plus three is six, but six is in zero class. So here we write zero. Here we get seven, but seven is in one class. Here we get eight, but eight is in two class. Right. Similarly, we write this two row four five zero one two three and five zero one two three four. So this is composition table. So from composition table, we can easily conclude that closure property is satisfied. That's why plus six is closed in Z six because we get all elements from Z six, right? Associative property is clear because addition is associative in Z six. Now identity element. So identity element, who is it? एव कौ एलिमेंट है कि एम अपने कोईपण एलिमेंट एड करिए तो एन आंसर एलिमेंट पोते आवसे, तो वी गेट जीरो इज एन आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट इट इज ऑब्जर्व फ्रॉम कम्पोजिशन टेबल नाउ वी फाइंड इनवर्स ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट हियर वी गेट जीरो प्लस जीरो इज जीरो विच इज आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट सो जीरो इनवर्स इज जीरो नाउ वन प्लस फाइव इज जीरो so one inverse is 5 now 2 plus 4 is 0 so two inverse is 4 3 plus 3 is 0 so three inverse is 3 now 4 plus 2 is 0 so four inverse is 2 and 5 plus 1 is 0 so five inverse is 1 
so we get inverse of each element of z6 now commutative property so commutative property is clear because a plus 6b is equal to b plus 6a for each element of z6 so addition is commutative in z6 so here all five properties are satisfied hence z6 with plus 6 is an abelian group now example 6 so question is so that z5 with multiplication modulo 5 is a monoid but not group so solution we know that z5 is 0 1 2 3 4 it is also written as 0 class 1 class 2 class 3 class and 4 class we solve this example by using composition table so first we know what is value of 0 class 1 class 2 class 3 class and 4 class so 0 class under modulo 5 is 0 5 10 15 minus 5 minus 10 and so on 1 class is 1 6 11 minus 4 minus 9 and so on similarly we define 2 class 3 class and 4 class now composition table here we write multiplication modulo 5 here and here we write elements of z5 now we see that how we apply this operation multiplication modulo 5 between two elements of z5 for example 3 into 4 modulo 5 which is 3 into 4 equal to 12 12 modulo 5 so here 12 is in 2 class so value is 2 simple 12 is nothing but 5 plus 5 plus 2 here 5 is in 0 class so value of 5 is 0 so finally we get 3 into 4 modulo 5 is 2 so by using this technique we write entries of composition table so here 0 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 0 into 2 is 0 0 into 3 is 0 and 0 into 4 is 0 now 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 2 is 2 1 into 3 is 3 and 1 into 4 is 4 now 2 into 0 is 0 2 into 1 is 2 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 3 is 6 but 6 is in 1 class so value is 1 2 into 4 is 8 but 8 in 3 class so here value is 3 now 3 into 0 is 0 3 into 1 is 3 3 into 2 is 6 but 6 is 1 3 into 3 is 9 but 9 is 5 plus 4 so here 5 is 0 so answer is 4 3 into 4 is 12 here 12 is in 2 class so value is 2 now 4 into 0 is 0 4 into 1 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 but 8 is 3 4 into 3 is 12 but 12 is 2 4 into 4 is 16 but 16 is nothing but 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 1 so finally we get 1 so this is composition table so now by using composition table we get some conclusion first closure property so from the composition table we observe that here all elements are elements of z5 therefore multiplication module of 5 is closed in z5 now associative property so associative property is clear because multiplication is associative so z5 is associative under multiplication module of 5 now identity element so from composition table we saw that 1 into 0 is 0 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 2 is 2 1 into 3 is 3 1 into 4 is so here 1 is an identity element now we find inverse of each element of z5 now 0 inverse does not exist because we can't get multiplication 1 here we get 1 into 1 is 1 here 1 is identity element 
therefore 1 inverse is 1 here we get 2 into 3 is 1 so 2 inverse is 3 here we get 3 into 2 is 1 so 3 inverse is 2 and 4 into 4 is 1 so 4 inverse is equal to 4 so here 0 inverse does not exist therefore there does not exist an inverse of each element hence z5 with multiplication modulo 5 is monoid but not group because inverse does not exist now we see that some properties of a group so first property let e be an identity element in group g star then e is unique आ एवं कहवा मागे छे के कोई पण ग्रुप मा आइडेंटिटी एलिमेंट तुमने केवो मळसे यूनिक सेकंड इनवर्स ऑफ ईच एलिमेंट ऑफ ए ग्रुप जी स्टार इज यूनिक मींस तुम्ही कोई पण एलिमेंट नो इनवर्स फाइंड करसो तो तेम तो तुमने यूनिक ज मळसे मींस कोई पण एक एलिमेंट ना बे इनवर्स ना मळे थर्ड इफ ए इनवर्स इज द इनवर्स ऑफ ए ऑफ ग्रुप जी स्टार then a inverse inverse is again a now fourth property if g star be a group then for every a b belongs to g a star b whole inverse which is same as b inverse star a inverse now fifth property let g star be a group and a b c belongs to g then if a star b is equal to a star c then b is equal to c this law is known as left cancellation law because in left side a and a are cancel now six let g star be a group and a b c belongs to g then b star a is equal to c star a implies b is equal to c this law is called right cancellation law because here right side a and a are cancel out seven if each element of group G is self invertible, then group is abelian group, means commutative group. Eight property let G star be a group, and for every AB belongs to G, implies A star B whole square is equal to A square star B square, then group must be abelian. So these are the properties of group. Now you have to do some exercise. So question is check whether the following algebraic structures are semi-group, monoid, group, abelian group or not. So first example, set of natural number with addition. Second, set of integers with addition. Set of rational numbers with addition. Set of real number with addition. Set of complex number with addition. Now set of natural number with multiplication, set of integer with multiplication, set of invertible elements of Z with respect to multiplication, which is called Z star with multiplication, Q with multiplication, Q minus 0 with multiplication, R with multiplication, and R minus 0 with multiplication. So you have to check these all structures are semi-group or not, monoid or not, group or not, or abelian group or not. Thank you, friends.